Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in 3ds Max for beginners. I am architect Sonorai from Glide Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you about Jamfor modifier. So I am going to my perspective mode here and I am going to draw a box here. And you can give any height here. Suppose this is our box here. And now I am going to my modifier list here and in modifier list I will select chamfer in object space modifier so I will select chamfer here and if you select chamfer you can see some parameters and we can edit our object so you can see there is a preset which is default here and we can select here hard edges also so there is not much difference so I am going to select default and I will enlarge this then there is corner option and there is metering so this is uniform so you can see this is uniform and this is end bias here and you can increase or decrease this here and you can see there is chamfer option amount type and amount so I am going to select this amount type fixed you can also select by white weight and this see a uh, creating weight and legacy so I'm going to select fixed and I'm going to increase this amount of chamfering so you can see we are chamfering our box here so if you are creating any interior furniture or any type of building you can use this chamfering and you can chamfer the object you can also increase or decrease the segment here you can see Okay, it will be very helpful for you creating interior furniture or interior uh, any designing objects so you can see this is metering is uniform I'm going to select quad here and you can see this is like a quadrilateral and if you select from default setting here I am going to select edged faces you can see this is like a edged faces so I'm going to select default setting only so you can see this is squared and it will select try here it will be triangular shape and you can select uniform so it will be uniform so if you turn on this edge faces you can visualize this and you can also make it radial and patch so I'm going to select uniform only and now we have this chamfer options amount type is fixed by weight you can also do this is by weight and you can also use this sphere weight and you can also select legacy here and you can see this is in legacy so i'm going to select here fixed and you can also change this amount if you want as per your designing skills and segment also you can increase or decrease if you decrease it will not be smoother if you increase it will be smoother and depth type is also fixed here and you can select by weight also so now this is the limit effect you can also limit the effect here and you can change the depth here and you can also change the radius bias here and we can check this and now i'm going to use this inset here and you can see here inset type face inset and there is a flow loop so I'm going to select face inset here and I'm going to change this amount so I will go and increase this inset amount here you can see so I'm going to turn, turn on this aged faces here and now we can see this inset amount you can see this is the inset amount we are making you can see this is the inset amount and you can also give offset here of your inset amount so i will uh, tell you any other example here i am going to select a box here and i will give any height here and i'm going to increase this segment here i'm going to make it 10 and 
and 10 so length width and height and now I am going to my modify list and I will select chamfer here and you can see this metering in form and you can increase this amount of chamfering you can see now you can see this edged faces here and you can also increase or decrease the segment here if you want to make it smoother increase the segment and now we'll go to inset here and we'll select in face inset and now i'm going to increase the amount we can see the difference here this is the inset and now i will increase the segment inset segment here and we can give offset to your segment so you can create some creative objects like this is so far like this or any other object and this is there is a four segment and you can give this offset as per your wish you can also decrease and give negative values to this offset you can see this is another creative things which we have created and can give this positive value can increase the segment or can decrease also and this is selection from a stack and I can also make it flow loop here this is in flow loop insert you can select face insert and selection is from stack and you can also select aged faces here selected edges so it will be in selected edges you can select you selected face edges and you can select it face borders here edge words selected all edges also you can select and you can select what it is here also so any of the option or you can select from stack here and this is from from material id so you can apply different materials so this is for upcoming uh, tutorials i will tell you so this is the basic function of chamfering and you can create creative shapes so this was the tutorial for the today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics of modifiers so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye